welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a monthly review which is basically a video where I talk about the month that's just been. Um, this video and the last one that I did I had to combine two months because of like illness and just I didn't have much to talk about. This is going to be talking about August and September. I'm going to talk about the products that I've liked using, what I've done, how I'm feeling, just lots of different things. The first thing that I'm going to tell you about is um, the fact that I am 13 weeks pregnant of just over three months. I had my 12 week scan yesterday and I found out that I was actually further along than we thought. We're very happy about it and yeah. I'm actually not going to talk too much about the baby or the pregnancy in this video. I'm going to be uploading a video tomorrow talking about my first trimester and how it's gone and how I'm feeling and everything um, because I know that it's not everyone's cup of tea and not everyone wants to hear about that um, and I'll be doing that with any videos I talk about the pregnancy of the baby. They will be um, separate and um, obviously things, some things will bleed into each other but uh, for the most part, any pregnancy or baby related videos will be separate and they'll be titled appropriately so if you want to watch that stuff you can and if you don't then you don't have to, there's no pressure. If you want to hear more about that then watch the video that's going up tomorrow but other than that I'm just going to talk about what's been happening the rest of the month or months. Uh, we've only been to see to the cinema once I think, mm, yeah no because Wonder Woman was before that, Wonder Woman was June. Um, we went to see Dunkirk, which I really, really enjoyed. I It wasn't what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, um, but it didn't have kind of like the usual storyline and follow through of the storyline that I normally see from films. And so you have to excuse me about chest infection. Um, so I thought that was kind of, it was a pleasant surprise. I couldn't watch every film like that where there isn't kind of a specific narrative, but I really enjoyed it. I thought the cinematography was amazing. The music was amazing and I just, I was thoroughly entertained. I, I'm normally not a fan of really long films, but I really enjoyed it. Something else that's been going on is Sam has had quite a few gigs. We went to a festival in Manchester a few weeks ago. And then last weekend we went to Liverpool, which is kind of, it was kind of the same sort of thing. And it was amazing. For the Liverpool gig, especially, we stayed up there for two nights. I was in Liverpool one of the nights and crew the other night because it was kind of like on the way home. So yeah, we kind of made like a little getaway of it. We were going to have more time to relax and chill out, but it kind of ended up being very on the go, which is fine. It was, it was good fun. And the gig itself was absolutely amazing. It was probably the best, the best one that I've seen them do because Sam's played with the band a few times now. It was, it was incredible. I really enjoyed it. Although I was, I was feeling pretty poorly because I've had quite a fuff. I've had quite a rough first trimester and I've I felt quite poorly for the, the Liverpool one especially um, I think just the journey took it out of me and I was just feeling very sick and stuff but it was good fun. Next thing um, it's kind of like a life thing I guess uh, a few when was it it must have been about three months ago I broke my rib um, I don't know if I've talked about this on a video before I might have talked about it on my last monthly review I don't know um, in fact I think I talked the last video that I did I was talking about the fact that I'd hurt my back or my rib or something and um, that was the day that it happened and I didn't realise at the time that it was a broken rib. I'm now being investigated for a collapsed lung because they're not sure what's going on because they can't hear air on this side of my chest. As I said just now I've got a chest infection and an ear infection. I've been quite poorly the last the last week or so. Um, but yeah I had I broke my rib and it's kind of it took me quite a while to get over that especially as I had to come off my painkillers when I found out that I was pregnant. Um, so it was it was tough, but it's pretty much pretty much healed now. I get a little bit of pain when I'm driving and sometimes when I breathe in deeply it hurts. It's, I'd say it's, for the most part, it's healed. It does take, broken ribs take quite a long time to heal. It can take like six to eight weeks and it was very, very painful. Something else lifey that's been going on is I've seen the girls quite a lot, which is really, really lovely. It's not kind of like a, um, an intentional thing, although it's, it's always intentional that I want to see them. But it's just the way that things have worked out. I've seen them quite a lot. Um, the last few weeks and I'm seeing them today actually as well because I'm going to tell them about the baby which I'm very excited about. I saw them last week because we stopped in on the way up to Liverpool. Uh, they came over to the house and we had some really lovely time, to, we had a really lovely time together um, and Lily's coming over for a sleepover for two nights for her birthday in half term which is in a few weeks. Yeah we saw, we saw them at the weekend as well because it was my uncle's 70th birthday so everyone, the whole family got together which was really nice. It was like the first family thing that I've done in maybe maybe like 10 years or something, it was a very long time. Next up I have a few products to show you, I actually have them here. I'm quite a gimmicky person with beauty stuff, I really enjoy 
um, trying new things. For the most part, like stuff that's gimmicky doesn't tend to live up to what it's supposed to do and it's, you know, not something you'd purchase again. It's nice to try, but it's not kind of worth the rebuy. I've used the same shampoo and conditioner kind of alternating between two. Uh, it's the Sulfurate Free L'Oreal one and the um, John Frieda Brilliant Brunette range. I've alternated between those two for a good few years and I, I've used the Brilliant Brunette range for you know, going back to when I first started my hair black when I was like 18. But when I saw this, I kind of wanted to give it a go because I thought, mm, it's fun, might as well give it a go. And it is the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil Low Shampoo Gentle Cleansing Cream. Ooh, can you see that? It's basically a cream rather than like a lathery shampoo. So it's like conditioner texture and you massage it into your hair and then you rinse it off. Like even just using the shampoo, my hair feels conditioned and I don't need to use a conditioner. They did do a matching conditioner to this when they first bought it out, but for some reason they immediately discontinued it and they don't do it anymore. So I had to get a slightly different conditioner, which is, it's the L'Oreal Vive. It is extraordinary or nourishing conditioner, but they did do one that was exactly the same as this. They work well together. This one's got like little shimmery bits in it, so it makes your hair really, really shimmery and it just makes my hair feel amazing. I have very thick, very tangly hair and this stuff makes it really easy to use. And actually, my niece Lily has uh, very thick curly hair and when she came to stay, we used this on her hair and like literally we could just brush it through straight away. No tangle tees and nothing, I just combed it through and it was amazing and it was just really manageable. So if you have thick hair, I don't know about thin kind of thin hair, so I can't account for that, but if you have thick, long hair, I can really recommend these. One of the other products I've got is um, this here. This is the Bionson, uh, Bionson Mineral Protective Deodorant. Um, when you're pregnant, there's a lot of products that you can't use Ooh. and that you don't realise. And deodorant is one of them. I think it's because of the aluminium in it. And this is aluminium free and I love this stuff. I did try one of the salt deodorants, so it's like a crystal salt rock thing. I just didn't get on with it, it just really stang, it was really scratchy and it looks very pretty but I didn't get on with it. This stuff however is the same concept um, but it smells so good, it, it smells like baby lotion and sun cream from like, when I was younger, like before it kind of became like all posh and scented and all that, it just smells really basic and clean and it's lovely and it works. Do you want to come and say hello? I probably won't even go back to normal deodorant because I find it works just as well and it's better for your skin. It's not too expensive. I think I got two bottles for seven pounds. Um, so it's not too bad and you just need a couple of sprays. The only thing I would say is there are some deodorants that you can kind of use every other day because they're like super, super strength. And like the one that I was using was like that. You'd have to use this one every day because like when you wake up the next morning, you don't feel as fresh, but I don't think that's a problem. It keeps you fresh all day. It's not like it stops working or it's not as effective. For me, it is as a, for me, it is as effective and I really enjoy using it. Dexter, that's not very nice. Um, the last thing that I was going to talk about actually is, ow, Dexter. <laughs> and how we're getting on with her. Oh, fuck, that hurts. As you can see, she's grown. Ow, Dexter, don't bite me. And she's not grown out of the puppy biting phase yet. Let's put you down. Yeah, she's still very much in the kind of puppy biting everything stage. She's actually getting better. She's calming down a lot and she's a lot of fun to be around. She's got her own little personality, which is great. But she can, she can be very mischievous. We've, she started puppy school. She will be doing her fourth week, I think, of puppy school this week. She can do like lots of tricks, but she's, we're trying to get on with the house training because she had a UTI and she was health trained and then she had the UTI and she kind of fell off the wagon so we're working on that um, and she's taken a liking to shredding all of her puppy pads all over the kitchen which is not so fun luckily it's when they're clean because I wouldn't want to clean up shredded puppy pads with covered in shit because that wouldn't be very fun I think that's everything I've got to talk about oh no one more thing is another product and that is a straightening brush um, I don't have it with me it's in the bedroom but I will insert a video now of showing you what it looks like I can't remember the name, but I think it's called the Daphne Straightening Brush. And I saw like an advertorial of it on YouTube a few months ago, but it, when I looked it up, it was quite expensive. But I found a cheap one on eBay. And I think I got it for like a third of the price, which is really good. And it's basically not like standard straightening, straighteners where you clamp it. It's like a thick paddle brush and the base of it is ceramic. So again, it's really good for thick hair. Like I did mine the other day and as you can see, it's not dead straight, but what it did was it kind of, calmed it down. 
it calmed it down, it made it like a little bit straighter. And I literally just brushed through my hair once and it kind of straightened it out. So I think if you're gonna do it properly, it kind of would give you that sleek, probably not the kind of paper thin kind of sleek look that GHDs give you, but I'm not a fan of that. And sometimes it's okay, but for me personally, I like having a bit of movement in my hair. I think that's everything I've got to talk about. Um, as I said, if you wanna know more about my pregnancy, then please watch the video tomorrow. Share this video around, like it if you like it, subscribe. If you have any questions for me about anything I've talked about in the video or anything really, then just leave them down below. And I'll see you again soon.